Back when I made my video about how to install Proxmox, I also promised you to showcase a way on how to connect to essentially any desktop or virtual machine with such a low latency that you can even play games. And today is that day. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the open source stream client Moonlight, which was originally built on the Nvidia's game stream protocol so that we can access our PC from anywhere in the world. Oh, and by the way, you don't even need an NVIDIA GPU for that. Interested? I really hope so. But before we begin, let me quickly remind you that you don't forget to give this video a like if you find it helpful and also subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. I really appreciate your support. So let's start off with what even is Moonlight? Well, like I said earlier, it is a low latency streaming protocol that allows you to stream games, programs or even the whole desktop of a host PC over your local network or the internet to a client device. In comparison to other remote desktop solutions like VNC and the most popular one, RDP, Moonlight works a bit differently. Most remote desktop solutions work by capturing the screen of the client machine and transmitting the given information to the host. The host then acknowledges that it has received the data, adjusts and triggers the events and sends the data back to the client. This method gives you a very responsive feel when it comes to mouse movements because your mouse cursor is actually rendered on the client side and the opening of Windows delay is really not that noticeable. However, if you are working with more graphically intensive applications or want to play video games, then the amount of delay from sending the inputs to the host, process it there and send it back takes a significant amount of time. And that time is definitely noticeable. Low latency technologies like Moonlight, Parsec or other proprietary ones from cloud gaming services are designed to reduce the overhead of constantly sending commands and confirmations by only processing data on the host side. The host renders the game in a fixed resolution, processes the mouse movements or keyboard clicks and doesn't send any confirmations back to the client except the video stream which ideally is hardware encoded to further decrease latency. All that the client sends to the host is what your mouse is doing, which keyboard buttons have been pressed, but not where that happened on your screen. The only downside to this is that there is a slight delay when it comes to mouse movement on a desktop, since it's not client rendered anymore. However, when it comes to the actual latency of mouse cursor to image, then it's really not comparable. Moonlight clients, which get the video stream from the host, are available for basically any device that you can think of, even on consoles and homebrewed smart TVs. However, when it comes to the host side, the PC where applications or games run on, then it becomes a bit more difficult. As I mentioned earlier in the video, Moonlight is based on Nvidia's game stream protocol, which is integrated into the GeForce experience. But that being said, Nvidia plans to drop GameStream and with it this method of hosting Moonlight might not work anymore. And since it's an Nvidia technology, even their own internet hosting tool needs an Nvidia GPU with the NVENC encoder to work. However, like Yoda said, there is another. Meet Sunshine! A self-hosted streaming service which utilizes the Moonlight protocol to offer that low latency that we crave while also being able to utilize AMD and Intel GPUs. Sunshine can be installed on your host system by either downloading the latest release from their GitHub page or if you are on Linux, then you can also get it from Flathub, though this version seems kind of broken at the moment. After the installation, you can access its configuration via a browser-based web interface. In here, you can create certain applications or desktops which will get advertised in the Moonlight client later. You can think of applications as a sort of shortcut or easier method to only access certain applications. You don't really want to deal with mouse navigation with a controller, right? If you want, you can also use custom images simply by dragging them into the right directory and entering their name. Some applications like triggering the big picture mode might need additional commands when launching. If they do, then you can enter them right here. On the configuration side of things, for just streaming, we don't really have to adjust anything. 
Maybe the stream resolution and the frame rate, enforce a specific encoder if you have multiple GPUs on your host, and adjust some quality settings. If you're looking for the best quality, then of course you could just crank everything to the highest settings. However, it's best to just leave them for now and tune them if necessary. To connect your client to your PC, you first need to enter its IP address, which you can find in your Windows or Desktop Environment Settings app, or by executing ipconfig or IP address respectively. Simply enter it, note down the PIN and type it into your web interface in the PIN tab. Now your client is paired with your PC and you can access your applications. I currently use Moonlight to connect to a Windows 11 virtual machine, which is running DaVinci Resolve Studio with a pass-through GPU, since my surface is not powerful enough to smoothly run it. By the way, if you want to use Moonlight on a so-called headless system, meaning that you don't have any display cable attached, then you might need a dummy plug that mimics a monitor. Otherwise, the host side rendering does not work, since it's confused where to render to. Latency-wise, it's really solid and I can even work over the internet. And unlike I've experienced with RDP, the video and audio are properly synced. One thing that I did notice, however, was that on the desktop, whenever I move my mouse cursor, the frame rate seems to drop. And as soon as I stop, it's back to normal. I tried to find a fix in the client options, however, nothing really helped. And I was wondering, maybe it's intentional to prevent overshooting your target with your mouse? I don't know. And I should also mention that while Moonlight runs beautifully, it only does if you manage to get it running. On Windows, the experience was flawless. Download it, open the interface and maybe set some resolutions in the frame rate. On Linux, however, especially with the API hardware acceleration for AMD and Intel, it can get a bit tricky. The Flatback version, for example, refused to work at all and couldn't even use software encoding. While it is quite easy to install Sunshine via the AUR on Arch or with a dev package on Ubuntu, Fedora or other Debian-based operating systems are not so lucky. I'm currently compiling a list of fixes on how to properly install Sunshine on Linux. So definitely make sure that you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss it. And while you do that, if you've liked this video, then please make also sure to show it. Right here, you can already watch the next video, which YouTube apparently thinks is the one for you. And all that's left to say now is, good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you are, I'll see you around.